fourth practical application from this doctrine is that believers are to exercise charity in judging the profession of others. Believers are to exercise charity in judging the profession of other believers. <clears throat> the canons say it this way, With respect to those who outwardly profess their faith and amend their lives, we are bound, after the example of the Apostle, to judge and speak of them in the most favorable manner, for the secret recesses of the heart are unknown to us. In other words, where does regeneration take place? It takes place in the secret recesses of the heart. What is it that makes a person a Christian? Is it, is it his impeccable doctrine? Is it his immaculate lifestyle? By no means. If it was, none of us could be saved. And yet, why then do we judge other people according to those standards? As if that's what makes a person a Christian. As if a person is a Christian only if he has an impeccable doctrine and an immaculate lifestyle. We judge others as if we don't believe the doctrine of irresistible grace. As if we can somehow pry into their hearts and say, that per Have you ever heard somebody say, or God forbid, ever said yourself, that person's not born again? Really? You can see inside their heart? You, you are as sovereign as God? You can make that judgment? The canons urge believers to use charity when judging others. And they give two simple standards. Those who make an outward profession of faith in Christ and those who amend their life. Now, they don't go into great detail. And, and that's appropriate. Because it's God makes a person a Christian, not anything else. So we need to be charitable in judging the profession of others. And we need to repent uh, where we have been less than charitable towards others.